Hi everybody, Rob here again with another power learning solution tip for you. I'm live in a Teams meeting here now with some of my colleagues from Cape Breton University. In a previous Teams meeting that I had yesterday afternoon, I discovered that not only could I log into uh, the Teams meeting on two different devices at the same time, on my desktop and using my phone, the app on my phone, I discovered that I could also present from my phone's desktop to the, uh, the Teams meeting live, which opens up a lot of possibilities. The, uh, the possibility that came to mind for me, uh, I was reminded of a LinkedIn post that I had seen the, where uh, the user shared a video showing how they turned their phone using a photocopy paper box into a makeshift document camera to record uh, some steps that they wanted to illustrate for their students. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to take that one step further, how to connect with uh, with a Teams meeting using your phone, and then how to share your phone's camera so that you could use uh, your phone as a document camera and share live uh, live annotations, live diagrams that you want to draw with your students during a class. So I've got my phone handy here now, and my phone is already recording the screen. You can't see my uh, my clicks on the screen at the moment, but I promise you that you'll be able to in the finished video. Uh, I'm going to now join in on Teams. I've gone to the calendar area in Teams, and I can see that I've got a meeting here now, and I'm going to join this meeting using my phone. And I'm going to make sure that I have my video, my mic, and my audio turned off when I join with my phone because I don't want to have a double audio feed during this demonstration. And I'm going to join. And in a moment, you'll see an extra user come up on the screen here during the Teams meeting. Uh, so I am now in the Teams meeting on my phone. And I'm going to click on the three dots. And I am going to share my phone screen with the class. So I'm going to share my video and click on Start Presenting. So now the class should be able to see my, uh, my phone feed. Okay, so my video feed is now connected and uh, I don't actually have a, um, a makeshift document camera set up here with, uh, with a box like in that previous video that I was talking about, but I do happen to have a nice glass desktop with a notepad set up underneath it. So I'm going to uh, lay my phone here on my desktop. It's already at a perfect height above the message that I want to share with my students. So yes, you all rock. And now I can scribble on this. I can do whatever demonstrations I want. For example, I could share with everybody now in this Teams meeting the one answer to life, love, and the meaning of existence in the universe. And that answer is 42. Bonus points for anybody who knows the source of that quote. So that is how you can easily um, get yourself a makeshift document camera and share that with, uh, with the class live during a class meeting. And it opens up a lot of possibilities. You don't just need to use it to point at a document and, uh, and share notes that you're scribbling on the document. You could also uh, put, mount your phone on a tripod and you could stand up and do a, a little impromptu performance for your students. You could mount it in a position so that you could do a live uh, chemistry demonstration for your students. Or you could uh, take your students on a walking tour of a facility by using your phone and freeing yourself up from the confines of your physical desk and the webcam that's built into your laptop.